Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Tyler Ellison. And in today's channeling, I'm going to be bringing Ryle Cut through, and he will be speaking to us about a very interesting topic. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I will bring him through. All right, it is with great passion and joy that we greet you all in this way through this channel, this day of your time. In today's transmission, we shall talk to you about the solar activations that are taking place, not just within your solar system, but also throughout the cosmos. So what you understand as your galactic center is made up of what you would consider to be stars and supermassive black holes. There are currently new energies coming from these supermassive black holes that are designed to bring your species and the galactic consciousness into its next level of experience, into its next level of manifestation. For many of you, you would consider this to be an evolutionary process that involves bringing your consciousness from third density to fourth density for some of you. And for others of you, from low fourth density to mid fourth density perspective, thus allowing for your species and many other species that are experiencing physicality for that matter to begin to experience more of what you typically call the astral plane, the non-physical dimension of existence that operates as a sort of go-between for the etheric plane, the realm of chi and subtle energy and life force, and the mental plane. The astral plane, in many ways, is linked to your species' collective imagination, and it's the level of reality that you utilize to commune with beings that are high quasi-physical in terms of their expression and non-physical in terms of their expression. These energies from the supermassive black holes are activating the neighboring stars within the center of the galaxy and that energy these new codes these new programs are now rippling through you could say the different stellar networks for even though you experience your stars to be separate from one another they are all linked by subtle energetic threads or cords and this energy travels through these cosmic meridians reaching each of the stars within this galactic network, similar to a galactic constellation. And your sun, in many ways, is greatly impacted by this. Your sun is receiving that galactic energy, and it is translating it for your species in an easy-to-digest way, so your species can partake in some of these galactic activations. Now, when your sun receives these upgrades, it begins to resonate more greatly with the core of Gaia. So there is a type of resonant communication link between your sun and the center of your earth, the center of your planet. And as the sun is receiving these upgrades, it upgrades the core of Gaia. And as Gaia receives these upgrades, she sends that energy from her core throughout the ley line network of your planet, which allows for nature to partake in these upgrades. The energies that nature receives then travels to what you would consider to be the surface level, the human level, and it's as if this energy bubbles up from the earth. It's as if it bubbles up through the natural bodies of the flowers, the plants, and the trees, and it begins to rise. And for human beings, this energy travels upwards through the feet. It then makes contact with the tailbone and begins to ascend up the spine. So right now, your species is receiving a very powerful solar activation, and this activation is 
designed to remind many of you of your true power, to remind many of you of that universal heart link that connects all beings, that connects all forms of life on your world. The solar energy greatly corresponds with what you would call your heart center and also your solar plexus center. So right now, for the human body, there is a type of you could say communication taking place between this solar plexus chakra and the heart chakra. They are both in many ways feeding into one another. They are upgrading one another. And this is allowing for your personal power and your sense of self to begin to merge with your true purpose, your reason for being here. Now, we have spoken on this before. Your reason for being here, all of you, is to simply be yourself. However, how you experience Express yourself is always up to you. And remember, there are ways of expressing the self that are very in alignment with who you are as a being. And there are ways of expressing yourself that are out of alignment with who you are as a being. So right now, you're all learning how to take that energy of personal power personal identity, and you're learning how to cultivate it and refine it in a way that allows for you to share your gifts, your talents, your voice, your energy with the collective reality. And this is all setting the stage for your species to truly integrate with one another. So that way you can begin to integrate with many of the extra dimensional beings that are making contact with your reality. And as we had said before, it is that astral level that acts as the type of middle ground between your physical reality and the etheric realm and these higher extra dimensional realities where many of the so-called extraterrestrial beings reside. So the craft that you are seeing that are connected to many of the UFO conferences are craft that emanate from extra dimensional realities. They are beyond what you consider to be the astral plane and their technologies allow for them to densify themselves so they can temporarily materialize in your 3D reality. And that's what's setting the stage for contact. So you are through this solar activation as a people raising your frequency. So you can begin to, as a species, integrate with one another, seeing one another as family, seeing one another as brothers and sisters of the planet. And that's what allows for you to begin to interact with these extra dimensional beings as if they are also your family. And they are, for many of them have been modifying your genetics. Many of them have been upgrading your genetics. Many of them have been feeding ideas into your species collective consciousness that are designed to assist you in this integration. For these extra dimensional beings, some of them we have mentioned, the Ong Dave, are very aware of the challenges that you're all experiencing on earth. They're very aware of the challenges that you experience on an individual level. And they are able to see the path of least resistance. They're able to see for many of you what you would consider to be the unexpected solutions that can allow for you to overcome your personal challenges and your collective challenges. So through you connecting to more of your purpose and more of your power, you align with your species collective consciousness. And that's what allows for these beings to become more proximal. And that's what allows for many of these extra dimensional concepts and ideas to then enter into your species collective consciousness. Right now, the beings we have described as the Ong Dave are in a type of observational mode. They are observing your species. They are observing what you do with their energy and the information that they send. And should your species respond positively, should your species utilize the information in a constructive way, they become more proximal to you. Our species, the Sasani, has played a similar role. However, we have existed, you could say, more in the background, specifically because our role is to share concepts and information with you all in a manner that prepares you for contact with some of these beings. 
planets. So our species at this time is not vibrationally compatible with physical manifestation on Earth because of how high vibratory we are in nature. Yet beings like the Ongdave are capable of the physical materialization process on your world. So as your species becomes more resonant with them, you draw them closer to you. One of the things that we would advise is during these times, allow for yourself to commune with nature. If you can, allow for yourself to lie down on the forest floor or in a natural environment and imagine that this energy that we have discussed that is coming from the core of Gaia begins to travel upwardly into your body. See it making contact with the various energy centers of your spine and see the chakras almost as if they are like cylinders being filled by this rising energy from back to front. So, for example, when lying down in nature, start with your tailbone and sacrum and see that golden energy from the earth comes up and makes contact with the tailbone and sacrum and charges it with this golden light. And then see that energy rise from the back of the body to the front of the body. So from the tailbone sacrum up into what you call the pubic bone. Then see energy rising up from the earth, traveling to your spine level with L2, and then traveling upwards towards the navel. Then see energy traveling upwards from the earth, making contact with T11 on your spine, the back of the solar plexus, and then traveling upwards towards the front of the body, connecting to the front of the solar plexus. We continue this process with the heart center, the throat center, the third eye center, and then begin to see that your whole body fills with this golden light. And as you receive this golden light from the earth, imagine your sun up above and see golden light coming down and filling your body and see that the sun within your solar system and the sun, metaphorically speaking, that is the center of the earth are both filling your body. And as your body is filled with this light, see this light overflow into your aura so that you have a golden aura and spend at least 10 minutes performing this exercise. And what you will find is you will start to experience yourself as a being of light while you navigate the physical reality. And that will start to allow for these upgrades to not only enrich your own perspective, but it will allow for these upgrades to permeate the parallel reality experiences of other beings so they can begin to perceive this same potential within themselves. And this is a very subtle way that you can begin to act as an ambassador of these galactic frequencies that are at this time making contact with your world. And as your species begins to allow this type of activation to take place, you will find that the extraterrestrial beings and the extra dimensional beings that your species is currently interacting with will become more proximal to you. They will become closer to you. And this can actually set the stage for you to begin telepathic dialoguing with them for these beings desire communication. The reason the Ongdave have revealed their craft to your world is so you can utilize their craft in your own meditational processes. And for those of you that are unaware, their craft express as black cubes within a sphere of light. So if you wish to commune with them, that particular symbol that is the square within the circle is a visualization tool that will allow for you to perceive more of their energy. And these beings have interacted with your species for some time. When you observe some of the illustrations of the person you call Da Vinci on your world, you can also see the influence of these beings. For their craft have been sighted time and time again by the ancient peoples of your worlds. And the ancient peoples of your worlds have, in many ways, gained insights into things like art, engineering, and science 
from these beings. So these beings are specifically here to assist you in developing higher dimensional perspectives that allow for you to birth all types of new innovations in relationship to not only your personal experience of reality, but also in terms of your scientific, technological, and philosophical perspectives of reality. So right now, you are all being asked to shine your light brightly. You are all being asked to step into that role of self-expression that merges your personal power and identity with the divine gifts that you are all here to share. And as you step into that, contact becomes more proximal. And as we have said before, contact with these beings is a reflection of your own contact with your own higher self, which expresses through you as you expressing your divine purpose. So we encourage you, play with this exercise. You can do it daily if you wish, and then allow for yourself to really contemplate what are your gifts? What are you here to share? What are the specific perspectives and insights and facets of wisdom that you are here to offer? And as you pay attention to those things and create outlets for you to share those things, you will find more synchronicities come to you and new insights and connections will then begin to manifest. So we thank you for your attention in this transmission. And as always, our species unconditional love and appreciation to each and every single one of you. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will speak to you all again soon. Have a beautiful day. And if you want more content, please join us on the Patreon where we deliver Q&As each month, every Monday. And we also deliver Patreon specific content such as Ryo channelings, monologues, and teachings. So have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all soon.